What is going on, my frosty friends? My name is Winter Castles, and welcome back to Monster Hunter World with Shadow Ripper. Say hi, Shadow Ripper. What's up, guys? All right. So for this section, where I'm going to the Great Ravine, I actually have to go this alone. But I do have Shadow Ripper on the call anyways, just because of the fact that we have pretty good conversations, and also the fact that if I do get stuck or need advice, I have him to help me out. So you can't invite me for like the little detour, but once you get into like the great and the the next big map area, you should be able to invite if you do a story mission. <laughs> All right, sounds awesome. But well, let's go. I'm gonna go into the Great Ravine now. Woo! All right, let's see what this place has to offer. Yeah. Yo, by the way, on a side note, Shadow Ripper, I did beat Dream Drop Distance last night. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. Oh, God, dude. Eight boss fights in a row. Jesus, motherfucker. I started, I started watching you for a while, and I was I was like, ah, oh, I remember I remember having fun with this game. <laughs> I couldn't remember how, how you were dying a lot in that game. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm. Like Forget the it. same enemy, the stupid Cytera. Triceratops just like rams you, kills you. Yeah, no, I mean that that was, uh, I mean that section was just training with Riku, because like there's a whole bunch of different like nightmares right there. It was easier training, but yeah, I just, thought it was weird because you would you were fighting for a while, and then all of a sudden you switched the sword, and I was like, this is new because in the original game and the 3DS version you didn't swap between the two you have you play the swords Let's all the way through and then you play the riku all the way through exactly whereas in this version you can switch between them i mean and the it's, story it's it's cool for the fact that you know you don't have it changes up things but it's like i don't know if i really want to switch between the two i think i'd i'd have too much fun playing as one person at a time True, but at the same time, the story the story doesn't the story will excuse me will actually work with you and it will switch between characters depending on where the story's preferences are. Like yeah. if I got too far with Sora, it would stop me from playing continuing as Sora and allow me to play as Riku to catch up on the story. So the story Sora doesn't progress too fast. We didn't even I, slow thought, down. I thought Riku's story starts off right after. No, nope, their story like starts. Sora goes in the darkness. Their story starts together, and they're just separated immediately. No, I, I knew that. I knew that they were separated, but... Jeez, great ravine, thought, indeed. I didn't know that he... This like, is the power he was advancing at the same time as Sora. I always thought that Sora's story ended, and then so and then Riku started. Huh. I need to go brush up on my, uh, history, then. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Great ravine, indeed. Holy balls, this is deep. My handler is so far ahead of me. Jeez. Go, Thunder. Go. You can reach the top. Rising up. Back on the streets. I did my time and took my chances. We gotta be careful not to fall here. <laughs> you don't say, Miss, uh, Mrs. Handler. You don't say that we shouldn't be careful if you don't fall here. It's it's hilarious. I was talking about how I was telling you about uh, Leon and Claire being in Monster Hunter Iceborn. Yeah, which, by the way, freaking awesome. Sounds uh, boss. That, you think you think that that's awesome? Wait till you see the costume the handler gets. <laughs> oh my god! Do I want to know? Yeah, she gets she gets the Mr. X costume. Oh sweet Jesus! Literally, she looks oh. like Mr. X, and it's hilarious because like the times that she falls and you have to like catch her, it's like you see Leon or Cleo just like catching Mr. X, <laughs> and I'm like, when did Mr. X become a pansy? <laughs> wow. um, they, in GameSpot, they did like a the Project Resistance, uh, we see down there. like closed beta <laughs> testing. That's the one where one guy's a mastermind and four people are trying to go through the uh, like experimental stages, like the multiplayer. <laughs> Come on, this way. Have you heard of it? I have heard of it. Hold on a second. Oh god. Handler! Get out of the way! Get down! Ah, whoa! No! 
Well, now we're falling from a great distance. Ow. Oh, so that's where the ground was. Ow. <laughs> the game's kind of weird. Like, you can sit in liquids, and then your ultimate's like a... Like Mr. X, you can control him, go around and wailing on people. <laughs> Who are you? That is a cool looking mask goggle combo. Oh, it's probably the woman. Yeah, it probably is. I, I don't know who she is, but like, it's a pretty cool looking outfit. She's, she's like, she's an, she's somebody who lives basically in the veil, and then she tasks you to find the secret of the veil, or mm. is it the veil, or maybe this coral, or something like that. Whoa, the research base. Yeah, it's like a boat. Like you try to make a fly later on. <laughs> hey, Abby, it's your dream place. There's tons of books there. Mm. And, like, lots of places to sit and read. You wait? I don't know where we are. More than the other three. Hmm. More than the other three. Oh, hello. You're awake. Do you remember your fall? A friend of ours found you napping in the veil and carried you here, but more to the point. Congratulations, you've found the Third Fleet. I am their leader to the extent that stills means something. And this is our research base. Our fleet consists entirely of scholars. Hmm. Which fleet are you with? And how did you get here? What happened in the Great Ravine? We fill her in with the story, I assume? Mm. Mm, I see. So this Zora Magdaris was the later, latest Elder Dragon to make the crossing, and it breached the Great Ravine when you tried to capture it? Hmm. Well, I suppose after all this time, we make it to finally do what we came here for. I must say that I'm stimulated. Well then, let's not waste any time. We need to pick up Zora Magdaris' trail. An expedition into the Coral Highlands might be fruitful, wouldn't you agree? For obvious reasons, that is what we call the surrounding area. A nice, thorough expedition should reveal the Highland secrets. <laughs> it's a good idea, is it not? I know it's a good idea. I came up with it. Now go quickly. Doing a careful expedition into the Coral Highlands sounds like a good idea to me. Thanks, Handler. Considering the fact that literally my whole point there was to protect you from falling to the ground, and I failed and went face first into the ground myself. I don't know why you have to protect her in the first place. It's like she knows what kind of world this is. <laughs> and yet, her choices. <laughs> it's like it's like if you try to protect anybody, you're dead. You're basically making the hunter g die. Accurate. Like, but seriously. You know, what, you know what kind of crap they go through. You've seen the monsters. <laughs> you know the life. <laughs> you rode the boat here. Yeah, it's, like, it's like, you're the one that fell off the boat and the hunter had to go and save you. You'd think that'd be enough. <laughs> you'd think you'd learn by now. Yeah, but either way, I mean, I guess there's always going to be those people that are just having a super positive attitude about everything, and a carefree attitude at that. She smiles way too much. She's happy all the time. It's like... Aren't you afraid? Oh, yeah. Hey, you've got to be afraid of something. She's a monster known as the Zidzayaku inhabits Nothing this path. What the... What is uh, this name? <laughs> the Tizit... Uh, he's, like, he's, like, he's, he's like a, uh... I like to call him a Velociraptor, but he's not as vicious as a Velociraptor. He gets on his hind legs and like attacks you and everything. He's like a mixture of a Velociraptor and a Spittle. Give me the just chef's choice as, platter. Just not as aggressive. Oh, look at that. Oh, God. 
Cram! Look at all that food, look at all that food, babe. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat all of it. Ugh, and look, my palico only gets one piece. One fish. That's all he gets. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't even get the finish in. I, I just realized that, like, as soon as you get done and you get up and go, Yeah! Like that, like, like it was good. Falco looks at you and goes, Oh crap, I need to open eat this. <laughs> oh, I... <laughs> <laughs> He's like, <laughs> Okay, I'm good. <laughs> it's like, it's like, you know, you... I think it'd be hilarious if you like kept it and then like in the middle of the battle you look at him and he's over there like trying to shout out on it and you're just like What are you doing? <laughs> Whee! Oh Good thing I don't take fall damage here. That's the damn shoe. Hmm. I guess I'm following the fireflies here. Oh you got the book. Ooh. Now this is kind of like playing, and now this is weird. It's cool, but it's weird. Let's see. <laughs> Man, they really go nuts when it comes to banks, don't they? Jesus. I never had any of this crap with my old bank. Do I need them? Let's see. Where are these footprints going to take me? What kind of element is your weapon? Uh, I don't know. I don't know the specifics on my weapon. I'm still trying to figure out what kind of element I want on my on my weapon. The great clips coupon that I got at the end. That's where those two came from. Yeah. That's why I got all the uh, all the good scent subs and the and there. Okay, we lost Shadow River. We'll probably get him back. Ow! You guys don't really hurt. But dang. These are called Shamos. Hmm. hmm. To network, uh, due to network issues. Huh, I was still on. I, was, I swear to God, if ever. I swear to God, if things go wrong in tonight's stream, I, w I will be upset. Like, I will be thoroughly mad. Because la in last night's stream, the internet shut down completely. Yeah, it took me when unplugging it, what? resetting it. When was this? Last night. That's why, that's why if you look on the channel, you'll see that there are two uh, Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance streams. Because I had to restart uh, the saw... stream. Yeah, I didn't I even jump back on. The By the time I even realized it, I was like, it was like one o'clock, and I was like, I'm getting ready. I'm going to bed. <laughs> just like I was sitting there, kind of just uh, the internet completely shut down, like 100%. And I was like, 
what on earth happened? And like, it took us, it took Abby and me just like unplugging everything, restarting everything. And it's just like, Abby has her theories of what happened, but it's like, oh my God. Considering that's what happens to me with and then I'll get back in and reset it. That's what happens to me with my phone. To get everything working properly. Like my phone has Wi-Fi calling, but every night at the exact same time, I lose Wi-Fi calling and I have to shut off my Wi-Fi, and then shut off my Wi-Fi calling, and then turn on my Wi-Fi, wait for it to load up, then turn on the Wi-Fi calling. It's like, where is it? Like, what the heck is going on? Okay, can I look at this map? And there's nothing on my list telling me where I'm supposed to go, except for my thing is telling me I need to go this way. Okay, there's an exotic pet expo tomorrow. Cool. That's a very valid fairy from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Oh, never mind, can't go. Oh, you and I would be $10. Kids would be free. Cool. Okay. Wow, what an incredible ecosystem. Have you ever seen anything like this? Has anyone? Come on, let's go exploring. Are these things that seem to be nice going to attack me? Come on, wake up. This is no time to be sleeping on the job. I accidentally kicked a sleep toad. <laughs> you know, you could use him. you can use him as a weapon. Apparently, when you see oh god, when the palico goes to sleep, you see bubbles coming out of his nose. Yeah, you can use him as a weapon. Just wait for an enemy to get close by, and go over and kick him, and he'll do the little puff thing, and then it'll either pet, depending on what you have, it'll either put him to sleep, paralyze him, confuse him, whatever. That's pretty cool. Let's go, Thunder. What if the cat? I wonder if your cat is ever in the room and you're like, "Come on, Thunder!" and the cat's like, "Meow." <laughs> Meow. That'd be hilarious. Well, Thunder doesn't Can't come to me when I, when I call him. Except for when I'm telling him to not go outside. This is a dead end. The handler, you should just be able to follow the handler and be, be uh, it should show you exactly where you need to go. Unless you're inside the big map and then probably not. Then she won't go with you. As I'm currently in the map. I have no idea where I'm going because I followed footprints for a while, but then I lost them. Oh! No, what so that sounds about right. This is a Paolo move. Oh, it's a giant bat. You're gonna have to fight him. Really? He's not, Eventually. He's not, I was about to say, he's not fighting me. <laughs> Get close enough and he will. He's one of the giant monsters you Am have I to fight. Am I supposed to follow that creature? Enjoy snacking on the eggs of the, in the, of the Coral Highlands. It releases in the air in its body to move at high speeds. I'm not supposed to hunt that, so I don't care. Like, it's cool and all, but it's not what I'm supposed to be doing. It's a cool-looking creature. I will say most of the creatures in this game look pretty bomb. Like they did a good like they took a long time to design their creatures and the detail the level of detail in these games are very very talent are very very worth it. It's cuz they have ridiculous talent. God, you a gorgeous thing. You got a lot of crap but I can't do any of it. Mm. 
No, you're not. Excuse me. Up we go. Okay. Much farther to this campsite. Oh, pretty big footprints here. Look. Hmm. But we might be able to go this way. Now, this is not a bad idea for a campsite. It's too bad you I can't pick your own campsite. Camp here. Oh. Let's ask the head honchos. There's a lot of cool spots in there that you could pick. True. Am I carrying too much stuff? I still have I still have nine slots. Seven slots. Oh, it's because I'm carrying. I can't carry a variety of moss. Oh, whatever. I need to find this Zitzi Yaku. What the? It's a little purple like. The. I don't know it when you see it. It's usually a. It, it's like one of the common monsters, but a little bit bigger. You don't know it when you see it. I'll know it when I see it. They're also really annoying because they attack you relentlessly. And they usually do it in a group of like three or four, I think. Where are you going? Sliding down the hill. This is quite terrifying, actually. Nick, Andrew, I killed every one of you. Oh. As I get out of the water. Oh god! That's the monster we ran into earlier. There must be a big boss around this place. Oh god. Oh, Jesus! You 
you can use ice magic. Uh, the lagoon. Well, that shouldn't be. You should be seeing the lagoon yet. That thing that attacked us while we were inside of the area? The Lagana is like a gigantic. It, it looks like a Lugia, but a little bit bigger. This looks like a bat mixed with a wyvern. Oh, heck no. Yeah, Come back. Palmer, he should be. That one shouldn't be using ice magic. That one uses wind. The Lagana is the one that you need to worry about. Every time, she, every time it flaps its wings, like ice sickles come flying at you. Oh, I'm stunned. I'm stunned. No, God! getting stunned from the ice. You win? I have the battle still going on right now. I don't know how to get to the Argus. Oh, come on. Scream in midair. Where'd you go? Come back. Oh, hell no. You are not getting away from me. Two stars are now done. Oh yeah, you are not getting away from me. You too? I hate these egg missions. Come back here! Direct hit with the ice. Some of the conjuring of ice out of nowhere is a pain. I hate these missions. They're stupid. Wait, 
Whack it. Oh no, you are not getting away from me. Yeah, I'm facing the Ligana right now. The giant bode? Yes. Come back here! Right. Good luck with that one. You're gonna die. Really? I've been doing pretty good, actually. It shoots ice. Yep, I've been dealing with that the entire time. You also can you can also jump it out of the way. Yep. Uh, a lot of people can't. I mean, uh, uh, aside from a couple of close calls, I've been doing just fine. Oh jeez. You know, Fagano is a story mission. I don't think you. And if you've just gotten there, I don't think you're gonna have the. Have you made the ship fly yet? Nope. And you can't fight the Lagana. <laughs> That's what I'm fighting right now. But it's not there until it actually until you're actually making the ship fly. It's probably a different Lagana then. Is it a bat? Like a bat type? It, it looks like a. It kind of looks like a wyvern. But that's what it's called on my screen. It calls it a Lagana. I'm not supposed to show up. I wonder if you're getting glitched up there. Oh, when I got in, when I got in, they didn't even show up in class. Uh, oh God! Oh, oh God! Oh God! Okay, now it's not playing around. Why the hell are I find you eight? Oh God! Nope, I fainted. I don't think I'm supposed to fight that guy yet. Oh. Mission failed. I'll get him next time. If you need help, use your SOS flare to call other hunters. Look, lady, I just want to find this Tzai Tzai Yaku. I didn't sign up to fight the frickin' back creature, okay? Nobody does. Nobody really signs up to fight anything. Oh, these guys, these guys have, don't even have it. They don't even have a say in what they fight. It's like, oh, there's a new monster out. Guess who gets to fight it? You're like, She's not if me. I say no, I'm still gonna have to do it on time. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised they don't even have a mission here to kill like 20 cactoids. I've been finding a lot less of him lately. Okay, let's <laughs> go this way. Now I have no clue where the eggs are. The horrible eggs. Oh. But I don't know where you would drop a horrible egg. <laughs> okay, I'm finding some bones. Ligania will leave the locale soon.
Oh, goody. You don't need to fight him until a little later anyway, because it's a required mission that you have to fight him. I remember I sat on that mission for quite a while. So I was able to get some people to show up. Hmm. Okay. That and the Diablo one. <laughs> there we go. They don't tell you where the eggs actually are. It was that, so you're just to side to side. Whoa. Sounds like the research base has a new guest. Wanna go back and check in? And maybe grab something to eat? I'm always down for food. You get the fuck out of here. Just, I am Audi 5000. Wait, hold on. I, you're horrible boys. I'm not attacking you. And yet, you come up with a headbutt me. You know what's coming up next. I'm not a chair of expedition. Why would I head back to the research camp? Return from expedition. Yes. Expedition complete. Oh, God. Whew. Why the heck are these eggs? They don't even tell you where they are. How are you supposed to get the eggs if you don't know where they are? It seems like a pointless mission of you spending 40 minutes or 50 minutes trying to figure out where the heck anything is. I, I did so good against that uh, Lagana. Just, <sighs> I guess I just didn't have the right equipment equipment to take it down. Well, you don't exactly. I mean, I didn't have. I had bone armor when I went to go fight him, but I also had two other people who like pretty much it's the killed it master. Hmm. I see that you've returned empty-handed. A shame. Hmm. Anyway, you have a visitor. Yo. Well, look who it is. My two of my two favorite hard workers. The third fleet master here tells you went out on an expedition in the Coral Highlands searching for Zora Magdaris clues. She also tells me that there is a rotten veilway way down beneath us, which gave me an idea. If we want to be able to access the Vale, we'll need a means to get down there. So I propose we resurrect the wrecked base. As in, rigging it with balloons so to reconvert it into an airship. And the leader here is all for it. <laughs> ah yes, rig, it, uh, rig to your heart's content. From the air, I will be able to survey the Rotten Vale unimpeded. And hopefully that's where we'll pick up Zora's trail. The airship engineer said he'll take care of the airship construction. All we need to do is deliver the goods. According to the scholars, materials from a monster called the Palumu are just the ticket. If you take care Good of the Palumu back. hunt, that'll free me up to go look for some secondary materials. Deal. Oops. Oh, and here, the old man said to give this to you. It's a specialized tool used for making, uh, using materials from the local monsters. They made a hand, they had a handful of bio samples kicking around in Asteria, so they decided to put them to them to use. The old man said he hopes uh, the new gear helps you out in the field. You'll put it to good use, I'm sure. Want to get going? Well, let's get go. Let's get to it. Good luck. A glider mantle. Now visit the smithy. You're gonna visit the resource center. 
Yeah, he wasn't there before. They must have added him in there. Cool, cool, cool. But anyways, guys, I'm going to end this video here just because of the fact that we're going on a pretty decent amount of time. And we made a lot of progress. Well, I'm thoroughly enjoying the game. It's definitely a fun experience, and, you know, it is the story itself is quite intriguing. It has me fascinated. But tell me what you guys think in the comments section down below. Shadow Ripper, I know you weren't playing with me, but thank you so much for joining me, my dude. No problem. And hopefully, guys, I'll get to see every single one of you in the next video. So make sure you all take care, and you stay frosty.